Here at the City of Port Adelaide Enfield, we're always looking for exciting new ways to use technology for education and for entertainment. Our libraries use all sorts of futuristic tech and gadgets every day for classes, groups and to allow people to experience new things that may soon become part of their everyday life. Recently, we brought some of the toys from our DigiKids groups to the Town Hall and invited children from local schools, as well as members of the public, to get hands-on with some of this exciting technology. The centre of attention was the HTC Vive, which lets people immerse themselves in total virtual reality to experience new worlds and play games in a whole new way. Robots are being used more and more in all aspects of life, and we have plenty on show for people to play with. Coding's an important skill for young people, and we had heaps of ways to learn, from coding a robot to escape the Sphero maze, to dance, or to wrestle in the ring. There was also drag and drop visual coding, which is a great way to get started. Cosmo was quite possibly the world's friendliest artificially intelligent toy. It spent its time moving boxes around the tabletop, and being pretty competitive playing tabletop games with people. We also had a whole heap of exciting iPad apps which bring devices to life in totally new ways, such as augmented reality educational games, which bring the real world onto the iPad screen. Aside from robots and virtual reality, we had a range of electronic circuits and gadgets to mess around with to create some cool devices. Our 3D printer was printing little statues, with library staff on hand to explain how it all works and to help people learn. The new Parks Library will be jam-packed full of futuristic tech when it opens later this year. Until then, contact your local library to discover a whole new and exciting world of technology.